If I see this problem physically, then I would say intuitively the solution may be written as because by doing the experiment I see the solution can be either cosine omega on t, natural frequency, or sine omega on t, natural frequency. Therefore, I can say initial displacement and initial velocity. If there is no initial displacement, if there is only initial velocity, then phi is zero. If there is initial, only initial displacement, the phi should be should be pi over 2. Sine theta plus pi over 2 is a cosine theta. Huh? Okay. So, by introducing phi, the phase, we can take care of initial velocity and initial displacement. Displacement. At the same time. So somebody said, this is the solution. And the people who like mathematics will say, no, that is not solution, this is the solution. What's the difference between this type of solution and this type of solution? <coughs> okay, if you look at the text, there is a good explanation. But intuitively what we can think is that this is a linear system, right? right? So if you look at this solution, and this one has A1 cosine omega m t plus J sine omega m t, right? So A1 And then second term is A2 cosine omega n minus A sine omega n. Right? <coughs> so I can write this A1 plus A2 cosine omega n plus or minus J plus J. This A one minus A two sine omega n. Okay. A1 plus A2 can 
make a1 minus a2 is 0? Can I do that? I don't think so. Right? Or, or I can say a cosine component and sine component. This one has also cosine component and sine component. There must be some relation between this and this. You can find it in the middle text. So this is, these are the same solution. The phi, what is a phi over here? Okay, look at displacement, initial displacement mixture. It is, can be written A psi omega and P. Right? Initial velocity is not zero, if I write that this is V zero, that is omega n A cosine omega and P plus phi and let P is zero, then what I will get? That is Sine phi is A Sine phi is A X zero. X zero divided by X zero divided by A. Right? So sine phi is equal to uh, X zero divided by A, and cosine phi is equal to uh, V zero divided by omega n A. Okay. And can you get A from here? Because we have a two equation, we can get A. Right? So what is A? A is A. So if we get A, that is look like according to the text. Square root x zero square plus v zero omega n square. Okay, here is an a sine phi, and if I square it, then I will get a square sine square phi x zero square, right? And if I square this. Uh, as a square cosine phi square omega n square v zero square. And if I add all, then I will get a square that is look like that. Okay? That's what we have. And then this is x zero, and this is 